Hey everyone, happy Saturday. Today's video is going to be a collective haul. This is going to be like, I haven't done one of these hauls in a long time, so it's makeup, skincare, clothes, accessories, candles. So I'm going to jump right in because I don't want this video to be too, too long. Um, and then I have like a little bit of a giveaway, if you want to call it that. It's just kind of a giveaway. I don't know. I'll explain later. Okay, so let's just start out with candles. I purchased two Bath & Body Works candles when they had their like two for 22. That's the only time that I buy these things. And I picked up London Calling, which is basically a really yummy tea and lemon scent. It's very like clean. Oh, this would go perfect in your kitchen. And I can't stop smelling it. So that is the first one. And I love how they did the tops of these and then the next one is Sydney Harbor and that is what that looks like and it has like an orange design on the top of it this again is very fresh and clean with a little bit of floral so but nothing to give you a headache it almost smells like a soap like a soapy fl florally fresh type thing so it's nothing too overpowering which I can't stand and some of them I do like I actually ordered the bamboo I think it's called fresh bamboo and that was a little bit too strong for me so I exchange it for one of these and I really really like both of Let me these head on to the jewelry part I did get a new Michael Kors watch I go in spurts with my watch phases sometimes I wear them every day and other times I don't wear them all year it just kind of depends so I sold two of them on Instagram if you follow me on there and I got this one and this one is MK5635 and I love it. I really, really like it. So this, it's a gold watch, but I just love how there's no, I don't know, how kind of simple it is. And then I can't wait to get it sized, but I just think that's going to look so nice. I don't know, I Do you really know, like I it. am a stylist and this is where the giveaway comes in. It's not so much a giveaway as you guys kind of have to well, anyway, I'll just, I'll tell you what it is. So basically, I am going to be doing a mystery hostess. And what that is, is there will be a link below. And if you purchase an item, which I highly suggest you look through because they have the best stuff and a whole bunch of things just came back in stock, you buy it under that link. And then at the end of the three weeks, I will choose a winner. You have to make a purchase in order to um, be entered into the contest. I'll choose a winner and then they get all of the hostess credits. So just like they were hosting their own show, which could be, you know, it could vary from 100 to over 500 and then you get all the free products and credit and all you have to do is place an order. So I want to show you some of the newer pieces that came in. I'm going to do another haul um, when like the April collection comes out. I cannot wait to show you that stuff. So the first thing are these um, Cleopatra studs that just came in Simple stock. Simple square studs that go perfect with anything. And for some reason, you would think that like all of the really fancy stuff sells out first. These sold like hotcakes and they're back in stock right now. They came out with these beautiful, beautiful earrings and necklace and these are the aviva earrings love the turquoise the blue the neon green right here so fantastic and i love statement pieces so i think that'll look really good on blondes as well really anybody but i'm a blonde so i always say that isn't aren't those so pretty so those are the aviva and then the rory necklace and i will put the names in the links below but this is just going to knock your sauce off socks off so this is the rory necklace it's a beautiful as turquoise right here and then these stones are like a periwinkle color which i am obsessed with periwinkle those were like the colors in our wedding i think my colors were like periwinkle and something else i totally forget i am so bad with sometimes my memory so bad like i don't even remember the name of our wedding song that we danced to <laughs> I have no idea. I could not tell you. Well, even if I listened to the melody, I can't even think of the melody. And then would be able to say, oh, that's our wedding song. Like, I would if I could hear it on the radio, but I can't remember it. I have no clue. Isn't that horrible? Like, that should be, like, a really special song, and neither of us can remember what it is. <laughs> anyway, so um, with that being said, there are these beautiful periwinkle studs, and then they have a very light turquoise stones right here. Super 
awesome. You can actually, it looks really cute if you layer it. So if you wear a different necklace, they have the everything from Still On Dot comes with extenders, which is super nice. So you can wear it as short or as long as you like and it always looks good layered with pieces. So definitely check that out and then get something for yourself because then you're entered to win the mystery hostess and you get free product. Moving on, Who doesn't want I that? was sent a couple of things and the first are these mink lashes from Esquito and you could probably you can wear these up to like 25 times which is crazy because i wear falsies a lot when i'm doing videos and sometimes when we go out and i usually just wear the drugstore ones so i got to pick two and i have a coupon code below if you are interested that this first one is called let's see so the this first one is called lash loretta and these are very like not that intense so that is called lash Loretta or lash Loretta and then these are lash Mopolitan and these are a little bit more crazy they have like shorter lashes towards the corner of your eye and then really winged out pretty lashes if you are into like a cat eye effect so I'm excited to try them and I'll let you know in my update updates video which I've been totally slacking on but after this, there's a lot of products that I want to test out. I will tell you about it. So Dr. New York, Neil Schultz, he sends me his products and they are fantastic. And I cannot wait to try this progressive peel. He is all about like glycolic peels and he just loves glycolic anything because it basically doesn't irritate your skin as bad as other products can. So this is called the progressive peel and it comes with three products so you have the exfoliating serum which is an eight percent and then which is a little bit too mild for me and then the exfoliating pads which is a 10 percent which is advanced and then the maximum is an exfoliating cream for 15 percent so and he wanted you know i think he said he wanted me to try him out and let him know but that's what the products look like. I cannot wait to try it. So thank you so much. A cleanser from Breeze Sight. And this is the Glow Therapeutics 10% Glycolic Cleanser. And I think some, some of you guys actually told me about this and said how wonderful it is. And it really does a really good job of removing all of my makeup, making my skin feel really clean. Um, the smell, I don't care for the smell that much, but I can get over that. Other than that, I love glycolic cleansers and you only need a really little bit to use with your Clarisonic, basically. Whoa, I just got really dizzy. Two things from Kiehl's, and Kiehl's is one of those hit or miss skincare companies for me. So I am totally on this pore refining, pore filler kick, like I can't get enough of pore fillers. And they have one, it's called the Micro Blur Skin Perfector. And this is what the bottle looks like, or this is what the packaging. It blurs imperfections, hyperpigmentation, it's lightweight, it's smooth, and it, it improves skin quality over time, which I never really believe that when they say that. Ooh, it's actually a skin tone color, kind of like the Benefit Professional. There's no scent. Oh, and it feels super nice, you guys. Almost refreshing on the skin. It has like a cooling sensation. Just a very nice scent, um, a little slip to it. Again, I will review that in my updates video. Yes. I cannot wait to try this this little guy. This is the Powerful Wrinkle Reducing Cream. Goss Makeup Artist had this in his five products to like make you look younger or something, and he said that this does a great job of really plumping up the skin cells and just plumping up your skin, basically, and making it look youthful. Always intrigued when somebody mentions a really good anti-aging cream. So, um, and it looks like that. And I have one that I love, but you know, I'm in this market and I'm always in the business of trying new products for everybody. So, uh, again, we'll keep you updated. It smells like sunscreen, but I love smell. I love the sunscreen type smell. I really do. I love when um, my kids come home from the pool or from the beach and they smell like sunscreen. I just think that's like the best Moving on ever. to my makeup and then my clothes and I will be totally out of your hair. I had to get this foundation. I saw Brie talk about it, couldn't pass it up. Uh, I 
had this foundation before and what happened was I think I got the wrong color I got like BR or B20 and it was too light for me really pasty so I decided to get B30 and it is the perfect match and I cannot tell you how much I love this foundation especially if you have dry skin I'm going to test it out because it's been a while since I've owned it and I want to say that the longevity of it isn't as great as I would like it to be so as soon as I you know test it out I'll update it for you and let you know about how long it wears because I'm afraid that since it's such a dewy great foundation that you know the longevity isn't as great as we all want it to be but anyway I'm wearing it today and it just makes your skin glow and I'm telling you the right match it's all about finding the right I had match. 500 points to use at Sephora and I got the clean skin thing at Sephora which is basically just two body lotions and skin and warm cotton. The skin smells really good. The warm cotton is not as good. Oh, it smells so good. And then two roller balls, which is so perfect for me because I never use a perfume ever. So uh, the roller ball and the warm cotton is this one. So if you guys have that at your Sephora, check it out. Two of like high end things. I, oh my gosh, I can't believe so you'll I'll have to definitely let you know and if it's worth the price if I like this I got the clay de Poe concealer in beige I did I got sucked into doing it and I got it I've heard so many wonderful things about it you guys have to let me know if it's worth the price but I did get it I have not tried it yet I will keep you posted to see if it's worth the astronomical price that it is and then off eBay, I saw Monica Blunder use this in one of her videos a while back. And it is the Chantecaille Crystal Shadow User. I love their shadows. They're so creamy and smooth. And this is beautiful. It's a beautiful silver color. And I don't wear silvers a lot, but, you know, maybe for a special occasion it might be kind of nice. So I did have to get that off eBay because I think it is discontinued. Things from MAC. I got, okay, so I was at the MAC counter and I was trying to find something to contour with. I mean, I usually contour with bronzer. I don't really contour my face that much, but if I want to pretend like I am, I usually use bronzer. But she talked me into their these pro sculpting creams, and I know it's sold out online because I checked for you. So see if you can get it at a counter. And she she was saying how using a cooler toned like sculpting cream or powder is better than a warm tone because it doesn't pull any orange. And so I got the Pure Sculpt, which is a it look, doesn't look like it's cool toned, but she said it was. Uh, and it's a very pretty, almost not pretty I mean I really wouldn't call that pretty I mean it's just like a beigey color and she said she says she likes to use creams because it's a little bit more natural to blend out and it looks more natural on the skin so that is what it looks like blended and that is the pure sculpt it's you know what I thought it was gonna be very similar to the Chanel so to, oh. How come I can never say that right? Chanel Tan de Chanel. <laughs> whatever the hell it's called. Chanel whatever cream bronzer. And it's not. It is a little bit cooler tones. That does pull a little bit orange. So, um, Laura, her beautiful mouth in one of her videos, wear this. And she mixed it with a cream color. Oh, cream color. I can't talk. A purple color. And this is called Pure Pout. And I freaking love these I really like these lipsticks but I tend to like the ones that are a little bit darker because they give off more color I have very pigmented lips so I hope this shows up on my lips but it is a beautiful beautiful you know nudie rose shade and um, it looked really pretty on her and ooh, that is pretty absolutely dead 100% on the floor love it okay so, so um, all right on to my clothes and then I am done I will try to put these links below hopefully they are still available because I've had them for a while I picked up a Michael stars top and I think this is so freaking cute I saw it on a model in on Pinterest I who's not obsessed with Pinterest I am it gets me every time and I want every single outfit they show well they had she was wearing this with a pair of tight skinny jeans and 
everything from Michael Starr's is one size fits all, and it normally fits me, which is kind of odd. Isn't that weird? And it's, his stuff is expensive, so I don't know why they have, like, one size fits all, and then, you know, like, what if it doesn't fit somebody? But I love the length in the back, and then I love how it has these, like, patterns on the shoulders. I've worn this in a video before. I just wanted to show you. And then the other thing from Michael Starr's is one of these t-shirts. And this is, again, one size fits all. I pur purchased it off Piper Lime. I love the wide neck. It's so super soft and it's really flattering, super flattering. I like how it has the like etched design in oh. of graphic tees. I got this from the BP section in Nordstrom. Love, just as like a swimsuit cover up. I thought that was really cute. And then this is from Zara, and this was a while ago. I just threw it away, or I threw it away. I just put it in my, threw it in with my summer stuff, and this is what it looks like. It says, worry less and smile more. Super cute. Again, I love I have a tendency that. to worry a ton about everything, so that t-shirt is a very good reminder for me not to worry so much. I don't know why my lighting is orange. Oh, um, okay, there it goes. My lighting was like really weird for a second. So I did, last thing, I got a, this is the cutest sundress I've ever seen. And again, this was a while ago. I got, I will put the links below. I, the majority of the stuff is off Revolve Clothing and that's where I found this. And this is by the um, Bobi. And I saw Brie talk about this again. I'm gonna be name dropping like crazy, but it is the absolute cutest sundress I've ever seen and it's really flattering on it basically is it has like this ruching on the side so when you wear it it kind of almost creates like there's two pieces and it's really super long I know you're you're not gonna be able to get the whole like gist of how cute it is but let me know what you guys think of this haul I will be back on Tuesday with some new NARS things so be looking out for that and I will See you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.